Barry, hello, how are you? <laughs> David, thanks for being here. Swan, hi. King TL7, welcome. PJ, hi. Thanks for being here. Julian, welcome. Hello, Tiffany. Michael, hi. Tara, Terror, how are you? Iowa Girl 65, hello. Cecilia, hi. Tony, thank you for being here. Waterboy312, hello. Sam and um, Emily, hi. Hello, Emma. Pumpkin88, hi. Thanks for being here, everybody. Jasmine, hello. Thanks for the likes. Lady, hi. Hello, Amy. Cecilia, how are you tonight? Eminem, welcome. Thank you for all those likes, Stephanie. I appreciate you so much. Rapstar, thank you for the follow. Happy Happy Friday to you too. I didn't realize it was Friday. I'm great, Cecilia. Sphere, how dare you? Sphere, you're usually so nice in here. Now you got to be in fans only mode. Sorry, Sphere. Ailey, thank you for the rose. Joe A.M., welcome. Thank you for the like 70. Um, I don't like doing that sweepstakes. Do you like doing it? Hello, Bella. Fortune 44, hi. How are you, Chris? User 24, welcome. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Y'all the best. Do I have plans for the weekend? Um, I don't have plans for the weekend, Amy. What about you? First timer, well, hello, Bam. Noah, thank you for the follow. Hello, Nikki. What are your plans for the weekend, Amy? Brittany, hi. AGGGG, welcome. Ashley92, hello. Grocery shopping and laundry, those are fun plans. I I enjoy grocery shopping and laundry. Hello, Shelly C. Vanessa, hi. Jessica, thanks for being here. Hello, Savannah. Brett, hi. Your plan is to stay alive for the weekend? Those are those could be fun plans sometimes. Hi, Jennifer. Do you like those plans? And your girlfriend? What about my girlfriend, Ailey? Hello, handsome from Texas. How are you? I'm great, Catherine. Thank you for asking. How are you, Catherine? How are you doing today? Lucy, hi. Catherine, thank you for the follow. Gabby, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it so much. Linda, hi. How's your night? Gabby, my night has been good. I've had a had a very nice day. Gonna send a ton of roses as soon as I get done using well. Uh, have fun with your rose. My coworker's daughter found a one-week-old kitten in the wall of the bathroom at her work. That was my excitement for today. Um, are you, are you raising the kitten together? Is your whole, is your whole work going to raise that kitten and have a work kitten? Hello, Elizabeth. How did, how did the one week old kitten get into the wall of the bathroom? Hi, Michael. And there was just one of them, not a whole litter. A mommy of two girls. Hi. 
How are you, jo Joanna? Struggle Mama. Hello. You made your name your real name. You don't have a fake name anymore, Loretta. I'm so happy that I don't have to pretend you have a different name. <laughs> there was a litter of kittens in, in the cross space in the ceiling, I guess. You're turning into mommy mode. You're moving forward. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you, Joanna. Joanna Loretta. <laughs> Angela Hyde. You're leaving that, that past behind. And we love to see it. Laugh 8K, hello. So are you going to start making mom content or are you done making content in general? Hello, Stan. Yes, like how welcome. Thank you for those likes. Hello, Alex. Never forget that you're a beautiful and amazing person. You're important in this world. Well, thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Nicole, hi. It's so crazy hearing you call me my real name on here. I know. It's so crazy saying your name Loretta out loud. You know, because it's such a grandma name. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> hi, Mary. Julian, thank you for those likes. <laughs> CJ, hi. Am I a model? No, I'm too awkward to be a model. I would be an actor, but never a model. Thank you for those likes, Stephanie. I appreciate you so much. You're so sweet to me. Zero five, hello. D Rock thirty nine, hello. Teresa, hi. Wolf Phoenix. Thanks for being here. Your content on TikTok is undecided still. I hear you. Do you feel like you're going to make con content no matter what? Tiffany, thank you so much for making that Corey Shake It's Ass. I appreciate you so much. Do you feel like you're going to make content no matter what or you haven't decided? If you're just going to focus on being a mom and, and being a consumer. Hello, Joe. Hello, Gwen. Raven, hi. My zodiac sign, I'll give you 12 guesses. Hi, Raven. You can ask me all the questions that you want before you make your guess. CB Spur in Cheese Beth. Hello. Isabella, welcome. Oh, you're going to go hard in real estate. Taurus, I'll give you 11 more guesses. Hello, Susan. So you feel like you're going to make real estate content? Yum guy. <laughs> Hello, Coach Tess. How are you? Cancer, I'll give you 10 more guesses. Okay, you, you're going to post them, but you're not sure about what. I got you. Joelle, hello. Crystal, hi. I mean, Pisces. Y'all can follow me on Snapchat, Superken TikTok, or Superken Gaming on Snapchat, but I don't um, add anybody back anymore. But you can follow me on there. Hello, Chrissy. How are you? I'm great, Loretta. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Doreen, hi. User 54, thanks for being here. Hello, Tiffany. Elvis Cree, hi. Mary Alice, welcome. Do I speak Spanish just a little bit? Bedtime. Well, Loretta, thanks for being here. Good night. Sharla, hello. Jacqueline, welcome. Hello, handsome. Hello, Elvis. 
Good night. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. It's still it's still so crazy to see your real name. Hello, Stephanie. Nicholas, hi. Thanks for being here. I am sleepy. I am sleepy, but I'm committed to staying on until like 115. Julia 2058, thanks for being here. Cammy, hi. Charlotte, welcome. Hello, Heather. It's been a while. Where where you been, Dior? Why haven't you been hanging out with us every night? Hi, Jenny. Here and there, what does that even mean, Dior? Shelby, welcome. Heidi, hello. How are you, Ashley? Where is everybody tonight? Tonight is so slow. For a Friday night, this is ridiculous. Is everybody out partying and being irresponsible instead of hanging out in the love ship tonight? Hello, Laura. Julian23, hi. Minneapolis. Well, hello, Liz from Minneapolis. Thanks for being here. It's rainy. You're at home, Laura? Good. That's where you should be. How are you, Liz? Virginia, Ashley from Virginia. Laying in bed, Lafayette, Louisiana. You'll have a lot of uh, stories and bad situations for tomorrow. I'll have a lot of stories and situations for tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> because of tonight. Hello, Ricky Martin. Yeah, people get into shit tonight and then crying, crying about tomorrow. Hello, Ricky Martin. Online shopping over here. What are you shopping for, Ricky? Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it so much. Hi, Zara. Liz, thank you so much for the gummy bear. The gummy bears, I appreciate it. <laughs> Every night I do that. Liz, thank you for the follow. You're sweet. Thank you, but I'm evil. Um, I'm a bad boy. Outdoor equipment, what else other, other than woodworking gear? I mean, work, work that wood, Ricky Martin. Florida is my home for four weeks now. I had to move 2,000 plus miles to leave my toxic ex. You moved 2,000 miles away to the other side of the country to get away from your ex? We love to see that, Laura. Got to work in the morning. Good night. Be careful if y'all out partying. Well, Mama... Adrian, thank you. Sweet dreams. Good night. That's crazy, Laura. So what's the situation there? Where did you live? Please, hi. Alexa, hello. Like an airplane? Close. Alexa. Can airplanes be in space? We're literally in space. This is a love ship. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much, Alexa. Hello, Chrissy. Oh, and thanks for being here. Andrew, hi. Deanna, hello. You love the love ship? Well, thank you. Thank you for the likes. The love ship is the only place to be. I agree. I agree, the love ship is the only place to be. If you're not here, what are you doing with your life? Finally stood up for myself and left the narcissist freedom from toxicity, toxicity and negativity. Well, Laura, I'm so proud of you for leaving. Hello, Scott. Dawn of a new day, hi. Wildfire, hello. Tatiana, thank you for the follow. 
Where am I from? from? I'm from Ohio. Can admit that you miss me? I don't miss anybody. I'm evil. I'm a bad boy. Bad boys don't miss people. Laura, thank you for those roses. Laura, thank you for those roses. I appreciate it so much. Where are your glasses? My bad boy glasses. I know, Deton, you missed me. Um, my other glasses are um, in my bag still. I packed them for California, but I didn't take them out. So you have to deal with these ones. I know, Deton, you missed me. Hello, Ashley. M. Hart, hello. <laughs> Silent and profiling. Kiss, stealing, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun. Hello, Bella, how are you? Maddie, welcome. Bad boy, thank you. These are these are very similar to the bad boy glasses. You're right. I need to, You've never seen a bad boy stream, Tiffany. You're too new for that. Are we getting a documentary of your trip? I'm a documentary of me going to California. <laughs> it was nice meeting me the other day. <laughs> You're cute. Thank you. You look great with with eyeglasses. Thank you. These are my bad boy glasses. Grace Matter, hi. Um, where did you meet me? Lot, Illy Latte. Jen, hi. Jamie, thanks for being here. Kavisha, welcome. Are we getting content in California? Um, when I live there, yes. When I visit there, no. Live there, yes. Visit, no. You look great with or without glasses. Well, thank you. Equalizer, I appreciate it. Wands, hi. Amy Lynn, thanks for being here. And Miguel, hello. Equalizer, thank you for the follow. Well, we need content during your trip. Well, my trips um, will be short until I move there. You know? So I won't have time to make content while I'm there until I live there. Born in Razor, but don't but don't claim Cali. I get stressed whenever I have to visit my family. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Laura. Thank you for the likes. Am I tired? Have you ever flown in space? It's very tiring to fly to space, Kevin. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Would you be tired if you flew to space? And you finally got here, and it's 12.30 Eastern Time. Big blue high. Yes, I'm tired. Ken is losing oxygen as we speak. I'm feeling like Jordan sparks up in here. <laughs> Hello from the Philippines. Hi. How am I supposed to breathe with no air? Wine, welcome. Thank you for all those likes, Stephanie. Thanks for the likes, Elizabeth. So, um, speaking of documentaries, hello from Tennessee. Amy from Tennessee, thanks for being here. Speaking of documentaries, my girlfriend has said that she would totally... Tiffany, thank you so much for the glowing jellyfish. I can't wait to see this one. I know it's going to be pretty. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Taft, how are you? Thank you so much for the glowing jellyfish. Those are cool. Those are cool. Um, my girlfriend said that she would totally... Um, knock on the on the address that the catfish gave me because ironically um, ironically my girlfriend lives in the same area as the catfish girl like the real the real girl in the photos and she said she would totally knock on the door with me and by knock on the door with me she would totally wait in the car <laughs> while I knocked on the door <laughs> so we might get a season two <laughs> And like the, the cat, the catfish season two. Am I getting catfish season two? <laughs> Might happen. Anna, hello. That was a cool jelly. Jesus loves you. You have a purpose. Thank you. You're from Tennessee, also. All these Tennessee. Hello, Queen. 
Are you? You should. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. That'd be awesome. Were you catfished, Laura? I have a whole I have a whole series on being catfished um, over the over the spring. Oh, I'll once again offer my kid to pose as a student selling candy. Um, Amy, if you're if you're serious about that, I will for sure take your child up to the door and pretend I'm their chaperone and that we're selling candy, you know? A thousand percent. If if that's the operation if we're doing that sort of sting operation, let's go for it. <laughs> you can sit you can sit into you can sit in the car with my girlfriend. Um, safe and me and your child <laughs> will <laughs> will defend ourselves. I came in late and missed that. No, no, Kristen. No. I'm not being catfished again. Um I'm saying that my girlfriend lives in the same area as the girl in the pictures of the catfish series. The catfish gave me an address um when we were talking. And my girlfriend says she's totally willing to knock on the door with me. And by knock on the door, she's totally willing to wait in the car while, while I knock on the door. <laughs> so I'm saying we could get a season two. I feel like this season two wouldn't be as in depth unless unless we uncovered some some shit. It would it'd probably be like a few episodes long, like half the length, like maybe six episodes. If we could if we could pull it off. Husband. Hi, Ken. No, not this time. It was a long series of Ken being catfish left, left, left me hanging every time. I'm in. Go on, go on, go on Halloween. That's actually really smart. <laughs> That's really smart, Elizabeth. I love it. I could even wear a mask, so she wouldn't. She wouldn't know it's me. The most adorable thing happened today. What happened? Your girlfriend and I will go get Starbucks while you guys figure it out and sell candy. <laughs> My cousin was recently catfish. He sent me three photos of the catfish. And you can her see her nose is different. Amor, th thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it so much. Jasmine, hi. Laugh8k, thanks for being here. Alyssa, hi. Brianna, thank you so much for the music note. You're a Pisces. I'll give you nine more guesses. You're getting close. So Nico works at his friend's uncle's... Nico, which is your boyfriend, works at his friend's uncle's auto body shop. I made him lunch as a, as a further... You're a Sagittarius. I'll record you and your girlfriend knocking at the catfish's house. Um, where do I live? Ohio. I mean, I can set up a tripod. Libra, I'll give you eight more guesses. There'll be a whole group of us watching and recording. Oh, cool. Robbie, hi. Scorpio, seven more guesses. You're almost there. Apology for what happened. The lady at the front is the uncle's wife. And she said, going to Toledo next weekend? Definitely different camera angles. Oh, you're the boy Nico won't shut up about. Aw, oh, that's adorable, Ben. Hopefully not shut up about in a good way. User85, thanks for being here. Virgo. Area, hello. Thanks for the likes, everybody. You got the candy. The candy's already supplied too. Say less, you know. It's probably telling them stories like you tell us. Vir I sound Virgo. Um, I am Virgo. It only took you five guesses, but you got there. I'm proud of you. It took you six guesses, but you got there. Um, good job, Joanna. Thanks for being here. Emily, hello. 
But she was smiling the whole time. And Nico was positively surprised when she took me to the break room. That's so sweet of you to do, Ben. That's so sweet that you brought him lunch because you were um, being toxic. We love to see it. Why do people catfish? Just be real and be yourself. I know. Um, I don't know. I don't know the psychology of why people catfish. Like, there's so many. There's so many reasons. Like, there's so many different things it could be. I don't feel like there's one definitive answer. Hi, Brittany. Some people just want attention. Some people like. Um, some people like hurting people. Uh, some people pre pretend to play this character and it just gets out of hand. There's so many reasons people catfish. It could be for revenge. There's there's like no de definitive answer. I agree. Misery loves company. Facts. Thank you for all those likes, everybody. Laura, thank you for the roses. It's going to be a written series next episode every night on the love ship. <laughs> Frank, thank you for the follow. Elizabeth, hi. I made him some pasta with chicken. Why do you think your catfish did it? Um, what kind of music do I listen to? Anything that's good. Why do you, I think my catfish did it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've confronted her about it. And she said that it started as... She said it started as an account to spy on her ex-boyfriend. Because she wanted to see the kind of stuff that... Her boyfriend was posting on TikTok. Um, and that she would post videos to, to make this girl seem real. But it just doesn't add up. Because this girl also went out of the way to make Facebook Facebooks for her entire family. She made individual Facebooks for each family member this girl had. And she had a Snapchat. And she, she created a cash app for this girl. So this girl was creating an entire life. She wasn't just creating a fake tiktok account to just to spy on her boyfriend she was creating a whole life which tells me she which tells me she wanted to talk to people you know like she wanted to um get close with people otherwise why make accounts for an entire family if it's just a spy like her story just doesn't add up um i feel like she's she was tied with a top with to a couple of decently sized TikTokers, um, male TikTokers. So like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is her thing. Like, if she gets excited if she tries to get macaroni and cheese, um, from men off off of TikTok. I don't know what her reasoning behind it was, but um, I wasn't the first TikTok guy she talked to. Um. And I just don't buy the story of she used it to spy on her ex-boyfriend. I don't buy it. Because, again, she made a whole family. She made a Snapchat. There was more to it. Today was one of those days where I'm like, maybe I won't be toxic anymore. So there's there's just no telling. There's no telling. Like, there's... There's been speculation of like, was this some part of scam? Is the real girl was the real girl in the photos a part of it? And she has like a little a little scam going on. And they couldn't find an angle on me. I don't know. But it's definitely odd. There's definitely still more questions. That doesn't make sense or reason exactly. Laugh 8K, thank you for the follow. I spy on exes all the time and I never make a bunch of accounts for, for my family. Exactly. Laura, thanks for the follow. Erica, hello. You don't talk to guys? Yeah, like I don't buy her reasoning. Like that's the problem is when I when I posted episode one was the last time I ever talked to her. She wanted a conversation 
it's like a lie keeps growing and growing and growing. Exactly. Like she, we had a conversation the day I posted episode one because she wanted to just make sure like I'm not going to say anything about her personal life. And I agreed like I wouldn't say any names or anything about who she really is. Um, but then that's when she like opened up and told me why. And it's just like, I don't, I can't believe a word you say at this point, you know? Like, even though it's after the fact and everything is settled down, like, I just, I still can't trust you. You know, like, like you're a, pa a pathological liar, you know? So any word that comes out of your mouth, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like, thanks for saying the words, but I don't believe them. You want to spy on your ex, but don't know how to? I would spy on my exes, but none of them have social media. Media, maybe that's a good thing. Haley, hello. I mean, definitely easier for you to move on if they don't have social media. Social media sock. Danny, hello. Yeah, it was... Her, her story was all bullshit. Like, I don't know. Like... I do believe that she knows the girl in the photos, but I don't know how she knows the girl in the photos. Because, like, she she clearly had access to the original versions of these photos. They weren't just screenshots from Instagram, for example. And the reason that I know that she had f original versions of the photos is because when somebody send, when somebody sends you a photo over text and you save it on your phone... The date is attached to the photo that they took it on. So as I was clearing my phone, I would have photos that she sent me with like the tag of like 2017, 2016, 2015. Like these were these were raw photos from a file. Like these weren't just screenshots from Instagram. Like they were like this girl definitely had access to this to the girl's photos who's in the photo. And how is the is the question? Like, how does she have access to these photos? It's so weird. It's so weird because because of all the dates attached attached to them, all the data attached to the to the photo files. Like, it's weird. It's really weird. Like, I do think there's more to the story, and unfortunately, the girl in the photos will not talk to me about it. And the catfish clearly won't tell me the truth. She wants to um she wants to protect the girl in the photos. She doesn't want me to cause drama. Um which tells me tells me she's hiding something. You know, there's more. There's more to the story. And I feel like there's enough to the story that a season 2 could definitely happen. A season 3 could not happen, but a season 2 there's still room for a season 2 for sure. The first guy you dated was a narcissist and his social media was a dating app while we were dating. Well, that's unfortunate. And I'm sorry. She had to have known her. It's bizarre. Yeah. She knew way too many real details about that family. Like, way too many. Tiffany, thank you so much for the... What is that? Level th level 33. Thank you so much for the, <laughs> the Finding Nemo's. So cute. The Finding Nemo's are so cute, Tiffany. Thank you. A, A, A Dreamy. Thank you for the follow. She could have easily looked up the person and, and started saving photos of a random person because it, it's very easy. <laughs> but where did the photos come from? Where did the where did the photos come from? Is the is the question? <laughs> Finding Nemo, hi Norman. <clears throat> Stephanie Rose, hi. Social media, but social media. When you save a photo from social media, the data attached to that photo is the day you downloaded it. It's not the raw data of the photo, of the file. So the raw data, um. The raw data attached to a photo means that that photo is on your phone or it was on a computer. It's social media doesn't social media posts don't hold data like that of the original. 
Tiffany, thank you so much. What is what is that? A cute little a cute little lion flower thing? Aw. So adorable. Oh, with a little sneeze. So cute. Thank you so much for the little sneeze. Tiffany, I appreciate you so much. All those cute little gifts tonight. Do you think it's possible that guys don't want relationships or just an excuse? It is possible that guys don't want a relationship and believe them. Alexandra. Um, for example, when I met my girlfriend, I was not looking for a relationship. I wasn't looking for a relationship at all. Um, and she just got out of a situation and we started talking and we're like, oh, let's meet, let's meet up and just, you know, very casual, have fun. And oops, we found love, you know, neither. I don't want to say neither one of us were looking for a relationship, but neither one of us were act. We weren't, we weren't approaching our meetup as let's start a relationship. It just so happened to be like, oh, we really, we really like each other. And here we are now we're dating. Is it true that when men don't treat their girls right, it means they're <laughs> laughing? Hey, I don't think that's true. And reverse image search found nothing. Yeah, reverse image search found nothing, but AI, like face recognition. I had to use a face recognition search to find her. Megan, thanks for the follow. Alexandra, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it so much. Libby, hi. It's when you don't look for it that it comes. I know, I always roll my eyes at it, but here I am. <laughs> like, here I am, literally literally found my girlfriend while I wasn't looking for it. Miss Capricorn, how are you? Giuseppe, hi. Nick, welcome. I love that for you and her. Yeah, um, we're pretty perfect, you know? Like, we just mesh together, mesh together so well. Oh, you have a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend. Hi, Jason. Jessica, thank you so much for being here. Rogue Bunny, hi. <laughs> How many girlfriends do I have? <coughs> Sorry for coughing. Um, one. <laughs> I have one girlfriend. Ken, do you guys have outfits for Halloween planned yet? Um, no. We don't have outfits planned for Halloween yet. I need to look at your profile and see your videos because this live came up randomly. Well, Laura, go check out my videos. Lame. It's a whole situation, Vin. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole situation. Amy, thank you for all those likes. We unfortunately won't get to spend Halloween together, um, but we'll be doing other fall stuff. Will you be in California for Halloween? Uh, no, 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 I won't. Nico doesn't like dressing up, but I'm going to gaslight him into doing it. I enjoy dressing up. It's fun. Like, I, I totally, I totally would, you know, I just don't have... I don't have the choice, and neither, neither does she. Kayla, hello. Monica, welcome. Corolla, thanks for being here. Renata, hi. Dan, hi. Kayla, hello. Gia, welcome. Watching from Philippines. Well, thanks for being here. Hello, Katie. Faye, hi. I work with kids and my job's theme is Monsters, Inc. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> to, have, to have your kids dress up as little monsters from Monsters, Inc. Hello, Meg. User73, thanks for being here. Hi, Katie. You should visit the Philippines maybe one day. Hello, Dylan. Zach. Hi. You're dressing up too? What are you dressing up? As Laura, are you going to be the librarian monster? Kayla, I am from Ohio. Where are you from? King Tina, hello. Trisha, welcome.
Barden High. How are you, Trisha? Hosty, welcome. Not sure, but I'll have a, a Turo with a, with a monster shirt. My contacts look so natural. Thank you. A Tudo? What is a Tudo? I want Nico and I to be Batman and Robin. <laughs> Which one's going to be Batman? And then we'll play out a spicy scenario when the night's over. You Leith, hello. Thank you for the roses and the, the TikTok. I appreciate it. Mayla Moon, hello. Thank you for, for all those gifts, Yulia. You've had a super hard day. Oh, I'm sorry, Mayla Moon. You're very beautiful. Thank you, Monica. You should know Nico is my Batman. Then I couldn't I couldn't see you as Batman, so I had a feeling you would be Robin. Do you sleep it? Do you sleep in your car? Can cars be in space? We're living in space. Thank you for being here for new hair. Click the fall button. I appreciate it so much. A tutu. Oh, you'll wear a tutu? You'll be a monster tutu? Is that real? Is that a real monster? You can't just make up your own, Laura. Happy Friday. Hi. You can't just make up your own monster. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why can't you picture me as Batman? You just. Deputy, thank you so much for this. Yeah. Zeus Zeus might have Thanks, Kenny, you're welcome. <laughs> that scared you. That that Zeus with the with his rippling chest just <laughs> glistening in the sun got me a little jealous. Which is more important? Appearance or personality? Appearance. <laughs> appearance <laughs> I'm I'm team looks. Over personality. Just because I'm a super femme bottom fairy doesn't mean that I can't be Batman for a night. Thank you for the cat balls, Alexandra. <laughs> what? Personality. Look. Hot people can be good people too. I like your honesty. You can find both. You don't have to pick one or the other. <clears throat> They're both important to me. Of course, personality is important for the long run. You know? Like, my my girlfriend is hot as fuck and she's got a good personality. My girlfriend is so funny. Like, we laugh the entire time. And she's hot. Like, get both. That's right, they can. <laughs> Thank you for the likes. You don't have to choose. Thank you for the likes, Lady Dragon. Corin, hi. I'm very lucky. <laughs> Popo, hello. What's your girlfriend's at? Um, her her at is a secret. Be picky. Yeah, you got to spend the rest of your life with this person. Get both. Get someone who's hot with a good personality. Get someone you're attracted to with a good personality. If I was single, yes, but I'm not. So I want my man to be Batman. He totally can, but personal, personality is more important to you, Mayla Moon. Well, that's great. You know, find yourself a find yourself a goblin with a good personality. Go for it. <laughs> Not me. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Chelsea, hi. Erica, hello. Honey, Sunshine, and Kaylee, thanks for being here. Definitely, thank you for those likes. You're absolutely lucky. Good luck to both of you. Well, thank you, Bella. I appreciate it. I'm not going to lie. I feel like looks in the first thing people notice, like it or not. Exactly. You don't swipe left or right on a personality. You know, dating apps don't show you their personality. They show you their face. Personality is important, but there has to be an attraction there. Let's be honest. Facts. There are good-looking sweethearts out there. Exactly. I'm not one of them because I'm evil. I'm evil. I'm a good looking person who's evil. Do you do you look better in pics or in person? I'm funny. Imagine if it was the other way around. <laughs> yeah, if you put if if you had to describe yourself and be like, oh, they sound like a nice person, and then you got to see what they look like. Like how disappointed you would be. 
I feel like people would be guessing based on, like, if you had to do a little voice memo and they just had to listen to you describe yourself, like, I would for sure pick the girls who sound awful because I know they would be hot. You know, <laughs> like, the the girls who are like, I, get, I like, I like go to the club every Friday night. Like, I'm not trying to marry that girl, but I'd be like, she's probably hot, though. You know, if, if dating apps made you describe yourself versus the girl who's like, um, I like, I knit sweaters. Like, you want to marry that girl. You want to marry the girl who's knitting sweaters on a Friday night, but you're probably going to be like, mm. you know, she probably, she's probably not that hot. But you could be wrong. Could be wrong. You have beautiful eyes. Thank you. Thank you, Ava. You like to have both? Same. You can have both. I'm too nervous about those dating apps. It's going to be long before I think about dating. As You don't have to go on dating apps. Da I'm against dating apps. I'd be hello. Unless they pay me. If you pay me, I'll, I'll definitely push your dating app. <laughs> but I'm anti-dating app for sure. Hello, Emily. Delaney, hi. Yazin, welcome. Jesse, thank you for being here. It's too much. It is too much. Um, dating apps are just they're not they're not good for you mentally at all. Ever been in a date from a dating app? No. I've never went on a date from a dating app. I was snacking on Cheeto flavored Lays for my Friday night. Like, dating apps dating apps give people the grass is greener syndrome. So just stay away from them because you'll never be good enough. Nobody's ever good enough for somebody on a dating app. Trian, thank you for the follow. My uh, best friend met her husband on a dating app, so there's that. So it's not completely hopeless. Brandon, thanks for the follow. But if you are going to do dating apps, you need a strategy about it. Because if you if you don't go in with a strategy... If you don't take your time with dating apps and really get to know the people you match with instead of just try to get as much validation as you can, which is a lot what a lot of people do, then you're never gonna you're never gonna find somebody. Why thank you for the follow. I try to bumble for a bit. It just feels contrived and natural, but I think bumble bumble's the best. I'm doing great, Brandon. Grateful I never need needed a dating app. Yeah, Vaughn, you're very lucky. Older than most on there. We used to go to the go to the mall to meet people. I mean, go to the mall, Laura. They're still out there. A little bit. Brenda, hi. Nikki, hello. Miles, welcome. <laughs> Not these days. They have some malls still. Like, there's some malls out there. They, they got a couple people here and there. Cheryl, hi. Shannon, thanks for being here. Kathy, hello. Leah, 72, welcome. Hi, Lauren. Simon, hello. Hi, Brandy. Do you like plus size women? Um, I'm not attracted to plus size women, no. Bars then? No, don't go to bars. Leah, hi. Cindy, welcome. Uh, bars and clubs, no. Laura, you need to you need to think of what does what does your husband look like? What does your husband do? What does your husband do for fun? What is he doing on his spare time? And if you're like, oh, my husband goes to bars on his spare time, then by all means go to the bar. You know, but if you, you're like, oh, my husband works on his business, my husband does a hobby, my husband does X, Y, Z, then go do those things. Like, go do the things that your husband would do and you're going to run into him. You're not going to run into your husband or your wife at a bar. You're not going to run into your wife or husband at a club. You could, um, but it's a coin flip. Single people at a bar or a club, it's a coin flip whether they're going to be cheaters they're going to be awful partners. And I don't like those odds. <laughs> Imagine if I flirted with a guy and he didn't and he didn't play play for my team that could end really badly. Hello Cindy. <laughs> What's the 
best what's the best place to find a boyfriend i don't feel like there is a best place you know kind of like the advice that i just gave you know think of think of what your husband looks like and what kind of things would he do and go do those things and try to run into him vegeta or android 17 vegeta of course the protocile the protocile true i found my husband online yeah, go go do stuff like to do maybe meet someone there how are you i'm great tiffany thank you so much for the the kissing cats <laughs> what are the cat versions of lady and the tramp we need to name them the spaghetti kiss thank you so much for the spaghetti kiss tiffany i honestly just want to focus on my kids and myself after my ex that's completely fine laura if you want to be single for the rest of your life go for it you know no pressure if you want to just uh, be single for now and see what happens, do that too, you know, because like I, I'm in a very blessed situation, like I talked about earlier, where I wasn't looking for a relationship when I met my girlfriend, you know, it just blossomed into something amazing. Hello, Robbie. Like, you never know. You never know. Like, just because you're not looking for love doesn't mean love's not looking for you, Laura. I swear if this one don't work out, I'm done with, I'm done with men. Vaughn, I'm in the same boat. If, if, put on a hat. If this one doesn't work out, I'm, I'm going to be a hoe for sure. <laughs> Emily, hi. Tracy, hi. Like this, this girl is so perfect that if it doesn't work out with her, I'm going to be a hoe. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Josh, thanks for being here. Camille, hi. Like, if it doesn't work out with her, I'm for sure the problem. <laughs> like, I'm the I'm the problem. I'm going I'm to just accept it and be a hell. <laughs> I came in. I'm going to be a hell. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Cameron, welcome. Janice, thanks for being here. Brandy, hi. Danny, welcome. How many relationships do you need to be in to realize you're the problem? Um, it depends how self-aware you are. <laughs> it could just be one, you know. But I feel like realizing you have the perfect person and you're in like the perfect relationship and you have <clears throat> literally everything in your favor and you're great at solving problems together. Like, there's no issues in your relationship at all. And there's no red flags. Everything's good. Everything's perfect. And you somehow mess that up. <laughs> I think it's time to realize you're the problem. I was like, well, I found that side of TikTok. <laughs> I hope your girlfriend sees how amazingly, amazingly you talk about her. Um... Maybe she does. Monica, thanks for the follow. Capri Sun, thanks for the follow. I'm doing the opposite. I'm, I'm joining a... a co what's a convent? Self-sabotage. Yeah, you could, You definitely have to look out for self-sabotage. Kelly, hello. Thankfully, I'm not a self-sabotager. I got that shit um, under wraps, for sure. Thank you for the likes, everybody. 12 Maria, hi. Oh, you're becoming a nun if it doesn't work out. Um, I'm not going to become a nun. I will, I will for sure not become a nun or a monk. I'm going to be the opposite of a nun. A covenant. Got you. How long is too long for a guy to reply? It depends, Alexandra. Are you in a talking stage or are you dating? Have you been on a date? Do you think I'm a self-sabotager, Ken? You 100% are a self-sabotager, Ben. A million percent. You've been on a date. Um, If you've been on a date, I feel like anything longer than like six hours is too long. Leah, <laughs> yeah, thanks for the follow. What? Prove it. <laughs> okay, Ben, you want me to prove it? Uh, Go back and read your text from the past 72 hours and come back and tell me what you see. Kimmer, thanks for the likes. Mm. 
Then go read the DM you sent me two days ago. <clears throat> and you tell me if you self-sabotage. Sorry that I'm so phlegmy tonight, y'all. Volo, hello. Is he welcome? I see a man who is simply in heat. <laughs> he was refused service. Hi from Minnesota. You got a new tattoo today, Brie? What'd you get? Thank you for the likes, everybody. Open heart, thanks for being here. Tiffany, thank you for those likes. Alex, hi. You got a Scandinavian Scandinavian folk art design piece. All black. Well, that's awesome, Bree. Hi from Tennessee. Capri I'm from Tennessee. Thanks for being here. Mary, hi. Moonstone, welcome. Kimmer, thank you so much for the skateboarding TikTok. I appreciate you. Tiffany, thank you. Thank you for the falling leaves. Oh, that's that's so cute. Um, the little the little falling squirrel. Adorable. Emmy, welcome. Ken, just how toxic do you think I am? Um, from a scale to one to ten, like one being the one being like, I don't know, who do we know who's like not even close to being toxic? One being like, like Amy's not toxic. <clears throat> we'll use Amy as a uh, scale of one is like Amy. I'm like a three. Um, a 10 would be like Batgirl. From a scale of Amy to Batgirl, you're like a, you're like a five toxic Vin. You're like a mediocre toxic. You're not too bad. Thank you so much for the, the entire farm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for the farm. Who said the farm? Tiffany, th thank you for the, for the farm. I appreciate you so much. Love me so <laughs> Amber Heard. Um, Amber Heard would be like a nine toxic. Batgirl is definitely 10. Amber Heard's like a nine toxic. No numbers. On a scale of fresh daisies to Britney Spears. <clears throat> um, on a scale of fresh daisies to Britney Spears, you're like, um, you're like, you're like a snake bite on a scale of fresh daisies to Britney Spears. <laughs> Obviously, Joe. <laughs> Who's Batgirl? Um, <laughs> take a guess. <laughs> I saw Pat Girl and thought thought Candle Girl. Um a snake bite. That's kinda hot. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany, take a guess who Bat Girl is. <laughs> I do love biting biting his neck to keep to keep quiet. Well, there you go. There you go, Ben. Vaughn, thank you for the likes. From TikTok, yeah. <laughs> From TikTok. Um, yeah, yeah, um, Batgirl is the girl who got into a fight with her best friend and screeched at, like a bat at her, and my friend was like, you need to leave right now, she is a psychopath, <laughs> you need to go, Alexander, thank you for the cat paws, let me tell you the amount of marks, I've well, <laughs> Oh yeah, then, then I can't read some of your some of your messages. Can we play "Wake Up When September Ends" by Green Day? That's the worst song ever. Okay. <laughs> yeah, way way worse than Amber Heard. <laughs> Rosie, hi. Amber Heard is definitely bad though. Vicky, hi. Um, Green Day is awful. Sorry. Ashley, welcome. Um, Green Day is probably the worst band that ever existed. Hot take. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> Ken, super DJ now.
All right, y'all. I've been on here for an hour. <laughs> unpopular opinion, sorry. Very unpopular opinion. But I hate Green Day. <laughs> but I've been on here for an hour. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, click that follow button if you're new. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. If you want to FaceTime with me, if you want a phone call with me, link tree in the bio, book a phone call, book a FaceTime. You're not allowed to leave. I'm getting tired. I love you all so much. Sweet dreams. You're all so wonderful. Goodbye, everybody. I think the worst was on... Vin? Vin, Vin, Vin. Have a good night. Um, You have a good night, too. Thanks for being here. I love you all so much. Follow me on Instagram at SuperCanGaming. Sweet dreams. I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, In the love ship. Thank you for all the gifts tonight, Tiffany. I appreciate you. Face, cheek, not I. Yeah, Ben. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>